Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. Last episode we searched the depths of the Curran catacombs to find a soul room. After doing so and making it through our first locked door, we found ourselves at another. The clues near the door led us to crafting four elemental orbs that seemed to be the key to getting through. But not everything was as we thought. So let's try and use the air orb on this. Nothing happened. What the f***? Huh. Well, I was so confident that was going to work. I'm very confused, actually. What? Um, to all those with learning and supernatural powers who with book and rune spend the long dark hours, if further challenges you would endure, give me a taste of your power so pure. Is this something else I need to do first? What does that mean? Give me a taste of your power so pure. Do I have to cast a spell on it first? But what spell would I cast on it? I am so baffled. I thought this was just going to work. Use the air orb on it. What about the fire orb? Oh my god, none of these work. What the fuck am I meant to do? Oh my god, I am really confused now. I was... Oh, my cat's about to die. Examine the ancient gate. The doorknob is a glass orb. How is that not right? I think I have to do something first though, don't I? Who with book and rune spend the long dark hours, so it must be a magic thing. If further challenges you would endure, give me a taste of your power so pure. What is the magic requirement for this quest. 56 magic apparently. What can you do with 56 magic? Charge water orb. That's it. I'm really confused. What does that mean? I think I just have to try some mage spells on it maybe. I think that's all I can really think of to be honest. If it's 56 requirement, the highest power spell it would be earth blast. I guess wind blast maybe is a, a pure spell. I don't know. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm really confused. Right, let's go back out this way. So I'm just at the bank, I was just preparing my inventory with a couple of uh, blast spells to try on that door. And I was reading through these notes, and there's talk of a curse here. I'm too weak to cast the curse myself and fight the beast within. My last hope is someone will read, read this and aid me. I'm wondering if I have to cast a spell first on that dude. A wizened charm will release me, but never magic that would harm. So I'm thinking of like a spell that's kind of like a charm or a curse. There's a spell called Curse. Huh, is that what I need to do? Do I need to c ch wait? Cast the curse myself and fight the beast within. Reduces your opponent's defense by five. Let's try that. Let's grab some uh, body runes. And this way, we can try and cast the curse spell on him. And maybe that will help us out in the first instance. I can use the water to get through that bit. Maybe I'm doing this in the wrong order. Maybe I need to help him first. Because there is no mention of that other door. And my quest log hasn't changed at all. It's still talking and going on about this golden bowl. So, I'm wondering if... Oh, fucking hell, I haven't got enough money for this bloody car, have I? Nope. All right, we're walking. I'm wondering if... Yeah, maybe we need to cast Curse on him. That makes sense, doesn't it? Although I was, I kind of expected it to be like a, a spell that was built within the quest, if that makes sense. I was thinking that going through that room would get me to a thing that I could, I don't know, learn a scroll or something and then use that on him. But maybe weakening him with one of these would work. And it says something about... Uh, a wise and charm will release me, but never a magic that would harm. And technically, curse doesn't do damage. So potentially that makes sense, right? Okay, I'm a little bit excited here because I feel like this could work. And after the whole orb fiasco, I really just want something to work, to be honest. I really hope I didn't get these for no reason. At least I know where the obelisks are now, but I just, yeah, I hope that this is something I would need. Right, use the golden bowl on the fire. And we're in. Right, now, moment of truth. Curse on him. Oh boy, it's going, it's working. Yes, let's... Oh, he's attacking me. And... Oh, my god, what's happening? Right, okay, that worked. Come for me again and thou shalt taste more of my power. The shaman somehow resists the power of the spell. Perhaps you should try again. Okay, let's try again. I don't know if we just do exactly the same spell or not, but let's just pray magic. Not that I think that does anything. My cat is currently burning. Go, go, go. Let's keep trying, let's keep trying. Okay, no, it's not working. Unless it's just a chance to splash. I haven't got much health left. And this is a different one. Perhaps we try weaken. Let's try weaken. Nope. Right. What if I can do it from outside here? Oh, I can. It has no effect as it passes through the flames. Right. So I'm definitely doing the right sort of thing, but he's resisting it. How is he resisting it? Let's just read these notes again. I feel so confused. That's another one, isn't it? Confused. Oh, confused. Let's try that. 
Boop. No, it's still not working. What am I doing wrong here? Do I have to use it and then attack him? I'm going to run low soon on food here. Let's go. No, again. Didn't work. Oh, man. What do I... What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? This is definitely working because it's prompting text in the chat. Can I just try and wind blast the dude? No. Let's talk to him again. Actually, did we talk to him last time? Yeah, I think we did, didn't we? Now let's try it. Now let's try it. Quickly. I think I'm going to die if I keep doing this. Let's try one more time. What's happening? So Shaman ha somehow resists the power of the spell. Maybe I have to do that and then do it on him? Yeah, it's definitely not working. Although, for some reason, he's not pushing me back right now. Let's just keep doing this for a bit. Okay, now it stopped working. That was weird, because I was casting it from outside, which isn't normally meant to work. Oh, fuck. He's just bonking me now. What's happening? I need to teleport out of here. I'm going to die. What the hell just happened? Right, I panicked a little bit there. He just started bonking me on the head with his staff. Is that normal? Was that meant to happen? Was I meant to get into that combat with him? Because it didn't feel like I was meant to. It kind of bugged out and I could cast spells from the outside. But then I went in and then he just bonked me. So is that how I do it? I have to talk to him from outside, investigate the fire, cast a curse spell on him, walk into it, and then he bonks me and I can kill him? Oh, Jesus, I really don't know. Do I need to bind him as well? That feels weird. Let me see some nature runes anyway. It does feel strange. I don't think it would work, but I'll try anything I can right now. Right, let's head back once more. Right, so as I was looking back through my footage, I realized that talking to him first makes him kick off and he grows in size, but then he gets wrestled back. I'm wondering if I have to have that conversation first. So let's go through here, talk to him. He'll get big, he'll attack me. All right, here we go, he's big. Then he attacks me. Then he wrestles back control. Yeah, here we go. He's crying. And now that that's happened, what about curse? Oh, fucking get in. I don't know why I couldn't just use it on him, but it seemed like I had to get him to come out and then after he gets back control, that's when it works. Right, you've released me from the demon's grasp, but only for a short while. You must seek out the Book of Binding. It's hidden in these caves somewhere. There are many trials you must pass, but please, you're my only hope of escape. The shaman's eyes roll back and he returns to his quiet, unassuming self. Let's go, right. Oh my god, my cat's about to die. Okay, right, so I think we've done the right order now. Let's just check the quest log. Da, 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 da. Okay, that hasn't changed. I have to say the quest log for this quest has been pretty shocking. Um, right, let's now go through here because he did tell us that this is what we have to do. This is the beauty of recording this as a YouTube series because I get to re-watch stuff. So as I was editing the previous episode, I was re-watching the content and things were ticking through in my head and I was just kind of thinking about it and I'd noticed that when I talked to him, he went big and then got small again. And it's just that constant re-watching that allows me to slowly make progress on things. Anyway, I'm hoping that now that we've done that, potentially I can use the orbs on the door. I don't know if that's true, but let's see if it works. And we are back here again. Okay, let's try again. So, air orb. Nothing interesting happens. Right, let's search the gate again. Let's try and open it for starters. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Right, let's search it again. Da -da -da -da. Yes, I'll read the message. So, to all those with learning and supernatural powers who with book and rune spend the long dark hours. So that's anyone that's training in magic, I assume. Book and rune. Makes sense. If further challenges you would endure, give me a taste of your power so pure. So let's just cast a wind blast on it. I can't. Wait, why can't I? That's weird. I can't actually cast any of this on the door. How do I give it a taste of my power so pure? Pray next to it. Is there a, is there a spell that I can cast on myself? Telekinetic grab. Oh man. All right, I'm still stuck on this door then. Let's, let's read it again. Would doing a charged water orb on it make any sense? I don't think so. Bones to bananas. I was swinging this above my head. No, I don't do anything around here. Is there anything else in here? Am I missing something? I haven't tried to mine all of these rocks. I mean, I assume that they're all the same. Let's just quickly double check. Unless that buried skeleton, because I searched that before, didn't I? And there was nothing on it, but unless now... No, there's nothing interesting about these remains. Bit strange to put them there. Oh, What's that? Look at carved rock. Here we go. It's meant to look like a stalagmite, but there's something unnatural about it. Looking carefully, you notice a strange carving on the rocky surface. Let's search it. You see a faded inscription on the rock. Once there were crystals to make the pool shine, ordered in stature to retrieve what's mine. That's it. 
What does that mean? Oh, there's, lo there's loads of them. Didn't even notice this. You can search on all of them. Oh, it's all the same. Right. Once there were crystals to make the pool shine. Ordered in stature to retrieve what's mine. Do I have to put, like, diamonds on the top of these carved rocks or something? Is that it? Crystals to make the pool shine. Unless these air orbs got on it. No. To make it shine, crystals, um... I don't know which one it would be, though. It could be a... What type of crystal? I would assume it would be diamond, but... Oh, crystal. Is it actual crystal? No, that doesn't make sense. No. All right, well, I guess I have to go and get some diamonds to test out. Maybe I can bring, like, diamonds, emeralds, and rubies just to see what works. Because I don't know what else would happen here. Who is this? Ordered in stature to retrieve what's mine. Who built this place? I might go back and talk to Ungadulu again. Just whilst we're down here. Because he said he went back to his normal self, but I didn't actually talk to him after that. Let's go back real quick. Oh, these fucking bats. I don't think I can actually get through this door because this bat is attacking me and it keeps interrupting me. Fucking die. Before another one comes along. Quickly. Please. Please. Yes, I'm through. Oh, I've got a hard task. Very nice. Right, let's go back in here. Let's talk to Ungadulu. Let me do this again. And then let's use that on him. Boom, and he's all right. Okay, cool. Thank you. You've released me for the demon's grasp. You must seek out the book of binding. It's hidden in the cave somewhere. Da, 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 da. And I think that's it. And yeah, now he's going to go back. All right, well, fuck this then. So he can't help me. Let's go back to the bank. I mean, these, what are these barrels as well? A locked barrel. What might be inside? I guess the book, potentially. How much further does, does this place go on for after that place as well? Don't even know if I want to know. Right, okay. So I've got some gems. I have no idea which one it's talking about because it just says crystals and something about making the pool shine. Really have no idea which of these could work, but I'm hoping that one of them we can attach to those posts that were stabbed mites and maybe that might open a door or something who the fuck knows i don't all right just grab some more water just in case we need that i'm gonna kill a chicken over here just because i'm curious as to what they drop no idea if there's anything integral to the quest here but the raw umli don't know what that is okay here goes so let's use a sapphire on this oh here we go you carefully move the gem closer to the rock but nothing happens what about an opal nope an emerald. Nope. Ruby? Diamond, please. I don't think anything happened, did it? No, it didn't. You carefully move the gem close to the rock, but nothing happens. What gem is it? Unless the crystals are in these barrels or something, and I need to go into this room first and then come back on myself, and I'm trying to go too far ahead. Oh boy, this is fucking hard. Unless I can cast it on this rock? No. I can't cast this on anything. On my kitten. You can't attack this NPC. Probably for the best. Oh, man. Unless it's just a, a wind strike that I can use on it. Like, super pure. The most basic spell. I don't have any mind runes. So the magic requirement for this quest is 56. And the only spell that you can cast with that is, is charging a water orb. I don't know why that would be a taste of your magic so pure. That doesn't make any sense, right? What, like, what is that about? Hold up. Oh, I've just realized what that meant. Ordered in stature to retrieve what's mine. So potentially you have to use multiple different types of gem? What gems are there? There's opal is the first one. Okay, opal is the first one. I have an opal. Let me try an opal on every single one of these things. I don't know where the order starts, but being ordered in stature means that starting off with the worst gem and slowly moving up through the ranks of gems. This one here by the door, potentially. Oh my God. It works. Okay, the opal glows and starts spinning as it hovers above the rock. The gem soon begins to fade. Right, so now I need to go backwards and do other types of gems. Um, so what's the next one? Jade. Don't have a jade. Nice. Okay, so I need a jade and a topaz. Is that jade, topaz, and then sapphire, emerald, ruby, and diamond, potentially. Okay, I think that makes sense. Doubt I need a dragonstone. Definitely won't need an onyx. This makes sense. Right, let's go back to Shiloh Village because there are gem rocks there that I can mine. I need a topaz and I need a jade. I'm going to grab another opal just in case I need to do it in one instance rather than leaving. And if I come the whole way back here, that'll be really annoying. So let's head back to the village and try and get myself a topaz and a jade. Right, so we're back in the village. Let's mine some of these rocks and see if we can get ourselves a topaz and a jade. I don't think I've ever mined these rocks before, but I always used to be fascinated by them because the fact that you had the potential to like mine a diamond out of them, always pretty cool. This is taking fucking ages. 
I've not even got a low mining level, I'm 74 mining with a rune pickaxe. What the hell is going on? An opal, after all that. Oh, jade, there we go, right. Cut that, and I broke it. Right, we need another one of those then. Oh, nice, topaz. Yeah, cool. I realised now that I probably could have just uh, gone to a gem store and it would have been much quicker than this, but my mind went straight to these rocks. Oh, Jade! Okay, right, please, come on. Hey, there we go. Right, let's just cut all of these for the crafting XP. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I had 32 Jades in the bank that whole time. <laughs> I just didn't look. I just looked at my little gem line here, and for some reason the cut jades aren't in line. Where are they? Here they are. Oh, bloody hell. So this is what the problem is, we're trying to organise your bank and they're not doing it properly. Let's stick them there. Okay, let's organise this a little bit better. Right, well that was a complete waste of time. Let's sort out our inventory and head back into the jungle. Right, so let's quickly double check if we need to put the opal back on this one. Looks like we did. It's just stuck on top there right now. Oh, no we didn't. Yeah, you've already put an opal above this rock. Right, I didn't even notice that. Okay, cool. Now, what is the one next? Is it jade or is it topaz? Uh, jade. Right, just reorder that. Jade, uh, let's stick it in this one, I guess. Yeah. And then is topaz this way around? Or is it that one over there? Oh, ho, ho, it's working. It's working. Right, sapphire on here. Ding, ding, ding. Emerald. Nothing happens. What did I do wrong? Nope. Okay, that's not emerald. Emerald's not on that one. What about this one over here? Okay, this is emerald for some reason. Right, and now ruby over here. Yeah. And then diamond. What's going to happen? You feel a powerful force picking you up. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, what's happening? Suddenly the room's lit up with a brilliant light. What is happening? This is fucking cool. Don't know what's going on, but it's all kicking off in here. Do I have to open the door now? Is this the power? Oh, no. Go back, go back, go back. The binding book's there. Yeah, we got the binding book. Right, okay, cool. Let's read this. A book of binding. Use holy water to determine possession. Slight appearance changes may be perceived when doused. Your legendary weapon, silver light. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I can get silver light. Be wary of any demons who may have special forms of attack. Use an octogram of fire to confine unearthly creatures of the underworld. Right, so that's why he's in the octogram. Instructo. Creation of holy water must be undertaken with determination and urgency. You must use empty vials free of all liquids. Read warily the enchanted contained here within in order to magic the vial for the holding of holy or sacred water. What in the heck does that mean? Read warily the enchantment contained here within. Okay, right. In order to magic the vial for the holding. Okay, right, so you have to do some sort of spell on it, right? Defeaty. The dreaded demon will be of unholy power and abilities. Present yourself before the possessed with good intent and ready manner. With least obstruction and utmost solemnity, hold open the pages of this great tome in order that the good light falls upon the victim completely. Be prepared in every capacity for the demon's tricks and wiles will swiftly outwit the unready adventurer. Attack with vigor and zest. Right. And then this is a bit of crap that looks like it's written in a different language. Possess, cast the thing, something else, attack it. Right, okay, so we've got instructions here. We need holy water to determine the possession. The creation of the holy water must be undertaken with determination and urgency. You must get empty vials, free of all liquids, then read warily the enchantment. So I need some vials, and then I think I can use this, yeah, enchant vials, see here. So then I think I could probably use the, the water from that little bit that I've got in my golden bowl into the vial. Nice, okay, that makes sense. Please tell me this has updated the quest log. Yes, and that is literally all I get, a single sentence. I found a book of binding which may provide some clues to how I can release Ungadulu. Has anything changed here? No, nothing's changed here and I can't use these on it still. All right, well, let's go back to Ardi because I need to get some vials. I think I'm going to have to prepare for battle here because I'm, if I can do this successfully, I think the demon's going to come out and I need to kill it. All right, let's see if I can enchant this vial. Enchant vial. I think it's hungry. That's not right. Where the hell even is my cat? Enchant vials. Here we go. You prepare an incantation from the page. Boom, enchanted vial. Right, now can we pour this in there? 
Boom, we can. Holy water, I willed it, it's like a thing. Right, let me get a bunch of these then. Enchant 10 vials, you enchant some vials. Apparently I can't do all of them, and let's use this. And they stack as well, nice. Right, I'm getting a bunch of these. I can wield them. Yo, that looks sick. Holy water, that's really cool. Has it got an attack bonus? It has range strength and some range attack bonus, which is pretty cool. Uh, can we enchant any more? Oh, it's draining my prayer, I didn't realize. Right, let's go and get some more prayer. Oh, I've run out of water. 10 magic? I was draining my magic as well. Fuck. Well, I've got 10 vials. That should be enough, right? I'm going to go back with 10 vials. I feel like that should be good. Okay, we're back in here again. Right, let's use this water on here. And then let's just chuck some holy water on him, I guess. Nothing happens. Right, let's do that and then attack. Oh, here we go. Vile serpent, thou will pay for that. What happened? Why am I all wet? He's been soaked in sacred water. Now what? Read. Um, do I talk to him? Oh, bollocks. I think I need to get my curse spells back, don't I? Oh, I didn't bring them. Oh, I didn't think about that. It says use holy water to in possession. So that did do something there. But then it says, present yourself before the possessed with good intent and ready manner. With least obstruction and utmost solemnity, hold the page of this great tome in order that the good light falls upon the victim completely. What does that mean? So do I have to do that? Oh, I've just been pushed right back. Oh, I'm a bit confused here. Let's try that again. I missed. Okay, let's try again. Oh, it worked. And then do I use the book on him? Ah, here we go. You open the book of binding in front of Ungadulu and a supernatural light. Oh, he just fell. <laughs> he just fell over. It's disappeared off my screen, his little legs. Ungadulu's face twists and contorts in wild spasms. Curse you, foul intruder. Wretched Vaku. Thy meddling ways have brought thee to thy doom. Ungadulu drops to the floor unconscious. From his prone body rises the shape of an enormous angry demon. Holy fucking shit. Right, kill, kill, kill. Uh, let's use this special attack. Let's use it again, try and weaken the demon. And now I'll use Dragon Scimitar maybe? Oh my god, my prayer's already been drained. Right, we're doing some solid damage. This thing is fucking huge. Well, I think I'm killing the demon. This feels like progress. Come on, die. Come on, just a couple more hits. There we go, he's dead. I shall return for thee when this... But I will leave thee taste of... I don't know what just... Oh, he just hit me. The demon vanishes, leaving nothing but a pile of ashes where he stood. Right, I think we killed him, right? Let's talk to Ungadulu. Buana, you've saved me from the demon. How can I ever repay this favor? Give me the Yomi seeds. Yomi tree seeds to grow a new totem. Then Nezechened's influence has spread further than I thought. Oh, do we not need a Yomi tree seeds to grow a new totem? Is the other dude, is he also corrupted? Oh wait, no. I thought he meant just then that that dude was actually lying to me, but I think he just means that the fact that we need that means that his corruption has spread. Right, okay, cool. You should know that growing a Yomi tree is no simple task, but I'll help you as much as I can. The shaman holds out his gnarled hands and reveals three largish green seeds. Here, take these with my gratitude. You'll need to soak them in sacred water to germinate them before planting them. Okay, cool. How do I grow the Yomi tree? First, you need to soak the seeds in some sacred water. Cool. This will help them germinate. Next, you need to find a patch of fertile soil and plant the seeds. Right? Oh, they're on the floor. I'm going to pick those up before they despawn. Quickly get through this. Right. Yomi trees are magical and grow very quickly. You'll need to water them often with more sacred water. There should be plenty in the spring. Okay. What will you do? I'll remain here in the protection of the flaming octogram and continue my research. What maniac? He wants to stay here. My recent experience has made me something of an authority on the subject. Okay, cool. Please visit me if you have any problems. Okay. Let's grab that. Grab the seeds. We have the fucking seeds. Let's look at them. They look magical. Okay. Oh my god. Right. I have Yomi tree seeds from Ungadulu. I need to germinate them with some sacred water before planting them in fertile soil. Ungadulu studies supernatural spirits! Exclamation mark. What does that mean? Why is that in my quest log? That's a weird thing to put in there. Right, let's stick this bowl on the seeds. You place the seeds into the golden bowl of pure sacred water. You start to see little shoots growing on the seeds. They're germinating. And I've just fucked myself because I've just used my sacred bowl and I can't get out of it now. Can I use this holy water on the floor? Oh, I, I really have actually fucked myself. Have I actually done that? Oh my god, I think I have, haven't I? Can you get me out of here, mate? I've germinated the seeds. Now go plant them in some fertile soil. Where do I plant the seeds? There are patches of fertile soil all throughout the Karazi jungle. Okay, make sure you're ready to water it though. Right. Okay, I have to teleport out of here because I've just accidentally fucked myself by using that inside the octogram and now I can't get out of the octogram. Oh, I can. Ignore me. I can just right-click it and then just go through it. The magic of Ungadulu's spell protects you from the flames. 
That's nice. That was probably put in there for idiots like me who just did exactly what I just did. Right, okay, let's go and get some more water. I have no idea if I need a watering can to do this, but I doubt it. Oh, they're ready to be planted already. I haven't got a, a, a spade. I reckon I'm going to need a spade. But let's grab some of this and then find some fertile soil. Oh, uh, that looks like some fertile soil. Yeah, there we go. Examine fertile soil. Perfect. And I need to be ready to water them. I just realized I have not got water. What just happened there? Did I not just click it? Oh, hello. Oh, no. It looks as if this pool has dried up. A thick black sludge has replaced the sparkling pure water, and it smells like death. Maybe Gujo knows what's happened. Oh, dear. Right, let's talk to Gujo. Let's spin this on our head. Hello, mate. I visited Ungadulu in the caves. He's hard at work studying, but he looks well. Have you grown the Yomi tree yet? The water pool has dried up, but I need more pure water. This is indeed a bad omen. I've never known of the sacred pool to dry up before. Where's the source of the pure water? It's a terrible place. Be thankful you don't have to go there. You cannot be thinking of travelling to the source, but I suppose we have no choice. Deep in the caves where you found Ungadulu is a terrible place guarded by angry spirits of the undead. Oh, so we do have to go back down there. The legends say they died trying to find the source of the sacred water, and now they are cursed to guard it for all eternity. The first to die was a powerful sorcerer, and his strange magic lingers in the cave. Now all who venture are struck by terror and cannot proceed. With all my heart, nothing could convince me to go near such a place. Well, I need to go. I searched the cave thoroughly and didn't find any sacred water. The source of the sacred water is a terribly dangerous place. Perhaps the elders have hidden the path or buried it under rubble. Right. If I look for the source, could you help me? If you're determined to find the source, I'll help as much as I can. First, you need to overcome the curse of the fear that blocks the cave. I know a potion that may help with that. Okay. You'll need to find me two herbs, snakeweed and argical. Add them both to a vial of water and you'll feel braver than a lion. So get snakeweed and argical. Okay, right. Uh, Argigal, I believe, yeah, it's the palms. If you head east out of Taibo Bonai, yeah, I remember that. Okay, cool, nice. Let's go and make that potion then. So I just made my way to the bank and I realized as I got there that I have no idea where to get snakeweed. I know that Argigal is the one that I asked about into the palm trees. I know where to get that, but I just assumed I knew where to get snakeweed and I don't think I do. I can't remember if it's one of the things I needed for the jungle potion quest. I assume it is, but I can't remember what point I collected it. So I'm going back into the Karazi jungle right now so that I can ask Gujo where to get snakeweed from. Where can I find snakeweed? Usually found in swampy marshy areas. Right, okay, cool. So that is this part here and the Argigal is up here. Right, let's make our way in that direction and pick up both of those things. We've got the water here, so we should be able to make that potion. I'm hoping that that potion is the thing that lets me get through that door. It's like the raw power that I was looking for or whatever. Might be completely wrong, but I am praying that that is the case because otherwise I still have no idea how to get through that door. Right, let's search this marshy jungle vine. Nice, snakeweed. Okay, cool, got that. Right, let's go up to the other part of Karamja. Right, let's search the palm tree. And uh, we've got the Argigal. Right, let's get out of here. I need to recharge my prayer, so let's go back to Ardi. Use that on there. Mix the Argigal into the water, and then use the snakeweed. Boom. Makes a heady brew. This must be what Gujo was talking about. You certainly would need to be brave to drink this. Nice bravery potion. Right, let's grab some prayer and head back to the Karazi jungle. I was just on my way into the Karazi jungle I realised that I've forgotten the orbs. I think I still need those elemental orbs because the whole point of this step of the quest is to get through that door, right? So I presume that I need them. Right, let's go back to the bank. Oh my life, get through this tree, please. Honestly, doing this quest with a mithril axe has absolutely killed me. I think I've been chopping this for like two minutes now. Please. There we go. Bloody hell. Right. Right, okay, cool. So we have the bravery potion. Let's swing this above our head. And I think we can now get Gujo to come down with us. Is that how it works? Oh, okay. So maybe he doesn't actually come down with us. He just helps. Well, I think we just need to go back down there, you know. I don't think he's going to come down with us. I think he just helped us in making the potion. I'm praying that this potion gets us through that door. But it did chat about runes and shit like that. So, I have no idea. Actually, what does the quest log say at this point? I need to find the Vieldi Caves and the source of the sacred water. Well, there's no cave map. But I assume that this is the Vieldi Cave. I think this is a very strange quest because it sends you back and forth a lot of times. I mean, the direction of it has probably been... Aside from the Fremenic Trials and that whole debacle with the uh, councilman on the bridge, this has probably been the worst quest log guide so far. Like, the quest log has been absolutely useless. 
is barely giving me any direction at all. Well, it does make it quite enjoyable in a weird sadistic way. Okay, let's search this thing then. If there's anything changed here. If further challenge, give me a taste of your power so pure. I think this has to be it, right? Let's drink the bravery potion. Are you sure you want to drink it? Yes, I do. You bravely swig down the entire content. The iron. Oh, fuck it. I didn't really drink the whole thing. And then wait for some internal explosion. After a few seconds, you realize that you actually feel all right. Right, now let's search the gate. Or let's open the gate even. Nothing's changed. Oh my god, have I done the wrong thing? Oh, jeez. Water, earth. Oh my god, nothing interesting happened. I drunk the potion at the wrong point. What? I'm so confused. How do I get through this gate? How do I get through this fucking gate? Give me a taste of your power so pure. I thought the bravery thing would give me the power. I am so, so confused here. It says it's buried. I feel like that's where the, that's where the water must be down there. Unless it's just this water, is it? No, it's not, is it? No. Power. All I think, power, amulet. Um, now, amulet of power. Is that what? I'd have to sacrifice an amulet of power to get through a door. That'd be ridiculous. How do you even get an amulet of power? I'd need 70 grafting. That can't be right. Unless there's some other way of getting one. But that would just... That would be stupid. This has nothing to do with my power. That would just be an, an item. It has to be about my power, right? And it has to be runes because it's magic. What spell do I cast on this fucking door? I think I have to go and make another bravery potion because I just drank it and I don't think I was meant to drink it at this point. So let's fuck off back to Ardy. Right, got the Argical again. Let's go and grab some more snake weed. The only other thing that I'm thinking of to use on the door is maybe the staves of each type. I'm going to bring an air staff with me because I have one in the bank and I'm going to try that because if I use that on the door and it works, then I know that I need to get the other staves. So yeah, I think I'm actually going to bring an air staff with me as well. Nice, got the snake weed. Let's make the potion again. And this time we will not drink it by that door because it does fuck all. all right, let's grab the staff of air. An air talisman. Oh, I might as well take it with me. Be a bit random, but fuck it. I'm also going to try and talk to Ungadulu because he's down there now and he's not possessed anymore. And I think we can walk back into the octagram without the water and just see if we can ask him for any help. Oddly enough, I've just noticed there's water in this pool again. Can I just use this on it? No, okay, it dries up. Another thing I've just thought of is dropping the air orb in front of the door. Potentially that might work. Like dropping it and then it'll just like get absorbed into the floor or something. I'm going to try that after as well. How is your Yomi tree doing? I'm on a quest to get more sacred water. You'd do well to have a look around here. Long ago, the elders blocked off the entrance to the Yveldi caves somewhere in this same cave system. There's bound to be evidence of the entrance somewhere. Is it this? Is, is that what they mean by that? It must be, right? Although I got the binding book over there, so this is what this is just weird to me. Beware though, the caves are deeply cursed, and should you fall, your spirit will be trapped within the caves forever, sworn to protect their secret. What do you know about the source of sacred water? Many people have tried and failed to find it. My great-grandfather told me he once even saw an expedition of dwarves down there. That's what that skeleton is. That's a dwarf. That's cool. Something terrible must have happened to them because they never returned. They say the spirits of those poor adventurers linger still, cursed to protect the water, even in death, forever. Right, okay. I don't know if there's information in that that I'm not really getting, but I don't think he's actually told anything to me. Long ago, the elders blocked off the entrance to the Vieldi Caves. Is that what they did? Is that it? They just stuck a bookcase in front of it. Is that what he means? Or is it like further into the cave system? Because if that's what he means by they blocked off the cave system, I mean... It's not very blocked off, is it? I'm convinced that I have to get through this door still. Right, this isn't going to work. Let's use a staff of air on here. Nope, nothing happens. Talisman, nothing happens. Use holy water on it? No. Use dark light on it? No. Use the Yomi tree seeds on it? Oh, I fucking hate this. I really don't enjoy this now. I mean, this is water. Like, what is this water then? Is this not the source of it? Let's try and drop the orbs. Actually, I didn't try that yet, did I? Nope, nothing happened. Okay, I think the only other thing I can try is potentially trying to... No, that doesn't make sense, because if I had to do that, I'd need 66 magic. I was going to say I could come here and try and charge all the orbs on it, but... Oh! Oh! Oh, I do need to do that! I need to use charge water orb on the door, because it's the source of the water. That's why it's a 56 magic requirement. It has to be. Oh my god, I've been sitting on the answer for this long. I've, I said that earlier, but I just didn't put two and two together because it was like, why? It would make no sense. But because it's the source of the water and the door 
has a glass orb on it, I have to use charge water orb on the door. I have to, surely that's it. That must be it. I don't know what this crap is about having all the elemental ones though. Maybe that's just to give me more of a nudge. All right, that has to be it. Give me some cosmic runes. I need cosmic runes. I need water runes. Okay, and I think, do I need a glass orb? I think I'll take another glass orb. I don't know if I'll actually need it, but I think I might because otherwise I can't cast a spell. Right, let's do this. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling good. I think that is it. I think now that I have the information that this is the source of the water, that's clicked in my head. Oh, this has to be right, please. I did put two and two together thinking that 56 magic was aligned with the quest requirements, but I didn't put two and two together that there was a glass orb on the door and I could charge that one. I'm going to take all these elemental ones with me still, just in case. Oh, I'm feeling really good about this. I'm feeling good about this. I think this has to be it. Oh my god. My lockpick just broke. I didn't even know that could happen. Oh, I don't know why I just teleported out. It would have been quicker just to not do that. Oh my god, I can't believe it broke. Okay, look, this I don't care. If we can get to this door, and if it opens, I don't care about Molly right now. If it opens, then I do not care. This game is testing me, and I will win. All right, all right, all right, we go again. We go again. All right, let's try this again. Please do not break. Hey, first time. I wonder how many times I've been through this cavern. Probably more than 10, right, at this point. I mean, I've not been counting, but probably more than 10. I fucking hate this place. Charge water orb, cast it on the ancient gate. I can click on it. Oh my God, we're moving. Oh my God. God, oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, it fucking worked. It worked. Oh my god, I actually feel a bit sick. Oh, okay. The orb attached to the door glows brightly as you charge it. The illusory door glows. The door then fades away. Before you know it, you're sucked through the door and into a different part of the cave system. Right. Now where the fuck are we? As always, thank you so much to all those that you can see on screen here who keep the channel going with their support via YouTube memberships. Special thank you to ASDZXC404, This Not Dog, Thior Bjornsson, Jack, Itchiest Bug, Renak, Jax, Sleek Fabs, Patriotic Skull, Josda, Timothy Wisenand, Deluxe Flame, Wineye, Teeters, Master of Reality, Ice, Carter Parry, Dizef, Kunai, Some Commoner, Sloth337, Riley Ghoul, and Corey for subscribing to the Quest Helper plugin tier of membership. Thank you all again. <laughs>